as she does before any concert, Julie Levin practices. And practices some more. I have to be heard at my best all the time. It's so personal. When I play my violin, it's, that's me. She is, as you may have guessed, a professional violinist. She performs with the Handel and Haydn Society at Symphony Hall, spends every 4th of July on stage at the Hat Shell with the Boston Pops, and is a regular at venues like this one, the Shattuck Shelter in Jamaica Plain. My name's Julie and I play the violin. Her approach is informal, adapted for a makeshift concert space just feet from the bunks that on this night, like every other, will fill up with people seeking food, warmth, a roof over their heads. They're here for the basics. So why give them Beethoven? Classical music is one of humankind's greatest artistic creations. And it wasn't created to be exclusive. It was created for composers to tell stories about being human, about emotions and just making sense of the world. Why not classical music in the homeless shelter? Because perhaps someone who doesn't even have a home needs it even more. Julie was inspired to bring classical music to homeless shelters after reading about a similar project in New York City. From her dining room table in Arlington, she now runs Shelter Music Boston. It's a big job. She coordinates 70 concerts a year at local shelters, creates a new program each month, and is always raising money because although the shelter concerts are free, the musicians are paid. I imagined when I started the organization that we would be proving that classical music can create change. And in order to do that, we would commit to it in a professional way. The way Julie sees it, musicians are like any other professionals you might find in the shelter, here to make a difficult reality a little easier. Residents and staff say it does, creating calm in an often hectic environment. It definitely, as Julie starts to play, the shelter becomes much quieter, people settle in. Julie says playing here is as rewarding as any concert hall in the world, in part because the audience offers immediate feedback. We had a lot of comments about uh, the music made me feel hopeful. One of my favorites was from a woman at the Shattuck Shelter, in fact, who said, um, the music was water for my soul when it was thirsty. Those reactions bolster Julie's belief that classical music transcends the status quo, whether you're hearing it at Symphony Hall or the Shattuck Shelter. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News.